This is a <clears throat> a live video broadcast. And I always have a few adjustments to make. Hey, Joycey, how are you? <clears throat> I got on a little bit early today. Been working on anything special? Just gonna sit here and let folks dribble in. I got my <clears throat> squash card out, and I have done the one week, so I think I'm going to I'm going to scrub it good. I got my what's this called? I forget the French scrub. It's just a bristle brush that's been trimmed off real tight and essentially for doing watercolor for removing stuff from watercolor paper Ooh, I'll have to come look at that I missed it okay so here's the real casing paint I'm gonna do this over here and it's definitely not per <laughs> permanent this is the gouache with that's coming off too and the watercolor comes off so I don't know how long it takes whoops this casing to become permanent okay so Soft brush. Not much. Hallelujah. Well, I would I would say by that that the the watercolor did great with the um, emulsion, casein emulsion. I'd say the gouache was 
about even with the casein paint. And of course, that's subjective because you've got um, how much emulsion did I have in each pile and that sort of thing. So overall, I think it's very easy to recommend that whatever other paint you have, you can put some emulsion in it and it will behave like casein. This is a live. I think I started saying that and then lost my way. Um, we always chit chat a little, so feel free to jump a little further. Today we're going to do a Q&A session, if anybody has any, on the Shower Girl. Um, Zen Zone number 3A, and she'll be finished up next week. Or the class well, uh, obviously, I've already finished her as much as she's going to be. I love doing this in journals because you can just quit when you want to. We've got, we've got somebody else in here. Let me get by July, August. Looking for my August printables. And of course, they would be on the bottom. <clears throat> Getting my my big jelly plate. Had a little bit of a cloudy, drizzly day today. It sure makes the temperature drop. Isn't her skin pretty? Okay. People are probably just now getting their notices. I've got to send this off this week. I put a glaze over her last week that to kind of even out these tones right here.
But I think I'm about as done as I'm going to be. I need to remember to sign it. It's a pretty good color. Sorry about the head. It's a polychromos. And that's about all it needs. Hello, darling. All right. Oh. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Um, if anybody comes in and has a question about the Zen Zone projects, make sure that I see it because this is a Q&A for those folks who are playing along. So I'm going to close that little book. I'm going to put it over here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. And... The star of the show today is going to be the August Printables by Robin McClendon. These just keep getting better and better. Um, almost monotone, but with just a little bit of um, a hint of other colors, like this kind of rosy, pinkish color in here. There's so much you could do with these. And judicious use of the lettering. Or maybe not so judicious. <laughs> I just love this little pinky thing that sneaks in there every once in a while. And Robin says she doesn't like pink. And these little things that look like donuts are just metal bearings that she takes out in the backyard and uh, lays them on file folders and lets them rest into the file folder. And this is a piece of her marbling. The neat thing about paper crafting is that you can do it once and use it many times. Just some more of the washers. And it looks like she had a screen, like a window screen, on it maybe as it dried. Here you can see it again, the grid. It's another washer. I think Randy would think I was absolutely batshit crazy if I asked him for some murders. <laughs> You know, like you get off the car when they're bad. They make great big circles. Dorothy, this is like the uh, the plate that I sent you. I don't think that's how she did it, but that's what it looks like. When I was at Rosemary Morris's two years ago, my God, how time flies. Um, I've been there since, but not since winter. And then the virus hit. But she used um, old floor grates. 
and some of them had writing on them and that's what this one reminds me of and we did resting out in the sun got plenty of sun well pink and I just print these on regular bond paper I guess there's just one right there and then I print them again on onion skin I sacrifice a little bit of color but that's uh, to be expected so if you're ever doing printables mine hers or anybody else's be sure that you um, adjust your printer to get the look and the color you want all right there got that little word oh i was going to show y'all something else i got in on the tail end of the um, indiegogo promotion for the portable painter micro and i got two painter kits and Where did they go? Yeah. And two, uh, a set of pans, three full pans and six half pans. And these are regulation size. This is the cutest thing. I think um, been some folks put on some. Uh, good reviews and putting it in place. I don't have to review it because I know I'm going to like it. You pop the top off. Let's open it first. And then this comes out. Out. And you got to be somewhat ambidextrous. See, there's just a little lip right there. There. That has to come on over. Put it over here and see. Now I know that that fits. And I've had it on before. There it goes. The two little pieces on top of the connector are what hold it level. And then this little mixing tray can go anywhere you want it. You can put it here. Nope, can't put it there. You can put it here. I wonder. So, there you have it. Isn't that cute? It's got a little finger tab that you just put between your fingers rather than um, the rings that are on the metal tins. Isn't that cute? So, this can hold your water if you need to. Um, and then you've got four mixing areas, or you can use this for a mixing area. Isn't it cute? And y'all know that um, I recommend. Oh, there's already pans in there. Yes. Isn't 
there are. So, this is the set that I recommend for anybody beginning in watercolor. It has, it's a split complementary, which is what I use for all of my painting, even in caustic. I use a cool and a warm yellow, a cool and a warm red, and a cool and a warm blue. And with those six colors, you can pretty well mix anything you want. So it takes a lot of guesswork out of a beginner's head and an old timer's head. <laughs> and this kit, I think, runs $35 to $37. And this was what I have in my uh, um, Ideal Art and Peace System class where I introduce you to all kinds of different stuff. Um, and so I did the entire class, and there's still more than half of the tube left. So this is a, a way to get it started. And I'm going to put the rest of these tubes in here. I don't think I'm going to put the rose. This is Rose Quinn Rose. Um, I prefer Alizarin Crimson or Carmen because they're stronger in a mix. But um, we'll see. And I have the same kind of kit for oil that is reasonable. I don't know, that's, that's better than most roses. So that solves that problem. I'm just going to put it on there. And this is all Daniel Smith. So, this one is Hansa Yellow Light. That's all I'm going to put in. I'm going to save about half what's in the tube. Because you know that I like um, I was thinking. You caught me thinking. Um, I like fresh paint. So the cools are on the top and the warms are on the bottom. And cool is the Quinacridone Rose. Air bubble. And this is Peril Scarlet, which is similar to ah, Cad Red. And then the cool, what did I just do? Yeah, cool on top. Cool on top. Thalo is warm. This is Thalo, that's French Ultramarine. I can't read. So French Ultramarine I'm going to put up here in the cools. And then this is the Thalo Blue Green Shade. That is my warm. And there you have it. I wonder if Debbie Epps is broadcasting at the same time again today. She's been doing that since school's been out. That's okay, too, because I catch them on the replay. All right. So there is my little palette. I love it. I think it's adorbs. 
and the little little sheet. I think these sell. Uh, I want to say fifteen dollars, but I'm not sure since I'm not representing this company. I bought mine. I never did get one of these. It's where the water bucket fits on either side. And you can prop it on your leg when you're outside. It would be terrifically handy. Okay, where am I? I'm going to put that aside because we might work with it later. Okay, doke. I've been keeping my... Um, Get arranged here. For the longest time, I was keeping my big jelly plate under my might fit. They're kind of bulky to find a place to store. Yeah, that's the other side. Anyway, with both covers on it, it did great on the, um, under my wooden, was a wooden clipboard. Okay, I hadn't done any jelly stuff in so long. So we're going to start out kind of slow. I need to use this up. This is a Grumbacher Acrylic Interference Orange. I think I need to clean my. Oh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah. Hang on. Booby. It's here somewhere. Now that my paint's all dried, let's go real quickly with with this. Picked up a little bit. 
this is the art of making making prints or making uh, computer printouts look more jelly printed. And that's okay that it dried a little bit because it doesn't matter. I'm going to use some Martha Stewart Vintage Leaf Glitter. And this is Iridescent Gold. This is... Oh, Got to have it really shook up. This stuff has pieces of foil and uh, large gold flakes. And then when the clear part dries, it has a luminous, it just looks like the gold is just floating because the clear dries clear. Let me try some. Again, we're just going to get some layers going. Not expecting anything right now. That will give us some good build up for future pages. I mean, pulls. Okie doke. I need to. My desk needs a different orientation for jelly printing. I want orange flash. This is probably enough for everybody in the room. Okay, so let's mix these two together and we'll get a kind of a orange, taupey, olive green.
just gonna go ahead and cover the whole plate because I had plenty. Gail. Hey, Sophia. You have to use these skills or lose them. You just stop as often as you want to. I'm not seeing just a whole lot yet. Yeah, we're getting a little bit there. My brain goes dead when I pick up a jelly plate. We're getting something, something, something.
What else do we have? I need something a little bit darker. Some amethyst. This is the Dick Blick um, matte acrylic. Some more transparent colors, I think. Same color, damn it. Let me see if this is something I carved a long time ago. Let's see if we can get any of it on there. Oh, yeah, we did. Try to put that right here in this dark. Pick up a little. Telling the girls how I um, always managed to go brain dead when I have to get get out some jelly printing stuff.
And the goal here is to make these look like they're real jelly prints. Digging for the right band here. Iridescent bronze. Here's my glue gun plate. Robin has a knack. These are the August printables from Robin. The links and everything are below. Real thin, maybe. Excuse me. Hey. I've been saving the paint boogers, letting them dry out real good. Sometimes pressing them down, and they make great little additions to pieces of ribbon and stuff in your journal. Almost looks like a wax seal. Put it up like that. Isn't that cool? Coolio. And the good news is, if these are unrecognizable when I get finished, I can print some more. This is the cockle um, onion skin. What else have we got? Jenkins green.
use some Titan Green Pail, my golden. This is real darn close to the Blick Saladon. And I think they just came out with some more of the Titans. You see, I'm beginning to see a little bit. Put a little bit of uh, a little bit of the silver. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, last time I did a big blick order, I forgot to get Celadon. And this is real close. Well, that's going to be real close, too. When I get down to the end of this bottle, I'll probably have mostly, mostly silver left. <laughs> Hear that ball? There we go. All right, now I need lovin's on. These are the most beautiful brushes. I'm going to get it wet first real good. Real hair takes a little longer to get ready to go. I don't have no paint on there. That's okay because just making some marks. All right, what am I missing? Yeah, that explosion on TV, it's just seeing it. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure they had more than 10. This.
What you been working on, Miss Barbara Clark? Again, these are the July printables from Robin McClendon. Links are below. I'm going to put some more of the iridescent bronze. Might not hurt to shake that a little bit too. What you think? Robin's better at this than I am. I'm getting dry now. Y'all can tell I said so. My stomach, in case anybody can hear it. getting a whole lot. Maybe these prints were already dark. I mean, you'll be able to see the glow on the metallics. <laughs> Come on. Hers just look yummy. I want my black flash. Bye. Bye, pig. Miss Pig Pig.
Let me get a stencil or two. Let's see what I got in here. This is some uh, wallpaper samples. Like it's probably about dry. We might have gotten some. Since that's almost dry, I'm going to put some more letters or Some of those. Nicholas. What was wrong with Peg? Is she under the weather, just general? My fan must be making things dry quick. We're getting some good grunge. Here's another one of my little paint things. I can't tell you how many of these I've thrown away over the years. Uh, that one's not going to come out. About empty, and I've got a backup.
Okay. I don't want... I guess I could try this Topi mixture again. I got probably got enough paint on here now for all of us. And then we'll get right on that. Well, I don't know how non-artists have made it through this. Well, that's just a big fat nothing. Be happy, somebody. See if some of that pink is still good. It's been up here for a couple weeks. Might be. This is an opaque, but it's a almost empty opaque. This will be last for you, baby. This is the Portrait Pink from Walmart by De La Rowney. How does she do it, Barbara? Hey, Teresa. You can kind of still see the under underprint. I just remember Robin's being so much more attractive.
I kind of like it when it gets smears in it. I mean, smears of colors. See what else I can pick up. Okay, so I can go away. The pink. I keep forgetting I have these. The Arteza metallic colors. Keep getting them. I really, really do want that placement. I mean, that bath mat. But it is nowhere to be found. That's all she had to say about that. All right, you got stencils. We'll do that. All right. This is Aztec Gold, Robin's Faith.
Let me try a little bit of this. this is pearl turquoise. Nicolazzo. Maybe I can get some pick up. It's all about the color, I think. Which color you put on top of the other. A little bit of color. Nice color in that. Okay, I gotta take a drink. Ooh, there's another card. Okay. 
Okay, deep brown tag, you're it. What a beautiful color. gonna do I think I'm gonna get a piece of paper during my studio organization I got all my scraps and things that needed a little more paint Or any paint. It's one of the ladies in the Zen Zone. Okay, yeah, what are we going to do? I'm going to put down a Martha Stewart pro. Oh, say it ain't so. All right, quickly. It's summer, and I'm not in the mood to be quickly. This is an inkjet print that I wet on purpose. I got a nice. Yeah, you can actually see some. See a little bit there. Getting some pickup. That's good. Nikolai's up.
Now that's pretty. That orange tones down the pink really nicely. acrylic paint on my new little palette. Got some turquoise dots there. This is black, matte, white. Nicolazzo. I love Nicolazzo over old white because it sinks down in the crevices. Picking up a little grunge here and there. That page does not bother me at all. Black flag. 
flash. Oh my God, I picked up that watercolor thing with that. Without remembering I had that sitting in it. Oh man, that would have been. A mess. good color there. Got some good marks there. Now pull that up. Put some of that on the floor. Okay. What time is it? Oh, it's 5.08. I had better be about done. What did I do with the Aztec gold? Okay. I guess I'll look for an item. going to be my last pass. This is silver. Better move that. And I do want that to dry. I see dots though. Now, I'm going to let that dry, and pull it off. Let's see, I'll put some opaque something.
I'm gonna check y'all. Hey, Deborah. Um, Gail, the reason is because this is my uh, Robin's Jelly Team project for August, and I wanted to use her prints to modify them. Just picking up a little bit of the extra very lightly. Yeah, that's about it. Because I don't want to smear it, but I got some good marks. So why not? I'm going to take something else out of my folder over here. One. It was on the top, Goose. Those of you that came in late didn't see my little, this is the micro paint palette. And there are my six split complementary colors. my last pull and then I'll play the color for a few minutes. I'm developing some good grunge for later. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to mix yellow, or mix it, activate it right here. And then I'm going to activate a little bit of this, my warm yellow. And then I'm going to go with my cool red. I need some more water. And then the warm red. And then the cool blue. Mixed with a little red, never hurt anything. I think we can get rid of that though. And this is the payload. Never, never, never use phthalo by itself. It is a chemical color and will take over your entire picture. I'm going to wet a pretty good size area. This is just quickie now. 
drop some of that in and just let it sit there. I'm encouraging these to blend together. See this ultramarine is already pushing into that rose. The thalo will push into everything. bit of that down in here. The rose just almost disappeared and that's why I don't like rose. I mean I like it but not for a mixing color. Look at that phthalo and it went all the way down into that paper. It's got some red mixed in it here so it's a little more palatable. So you've got Two different colors of orange. Two different oranges. You've got well, in order to test the greens, we got to go up here. And then you can swap sides. I mean, you can make, you can mix that blue with this yellow and get a different green and then you can mix your warm with your cool yellow and get a different green so that my friends is how you use six colors to you can mix your ultramarine with the cad red and come up with a real pretty brownish color I use that mixture a lot in oil painting I use this same palette, different different pigments, but the same theory in everything I paint, including encaustic. Bye, Gail. And then if I wanted, I don't know if I can do it right here. Then if I wanted a mid-tone, or a neutral,
crude example, but any painting should be mostly made up of neutrals with pops of color here and there. There's a little impromptu color lesson brought to you by my new palette. So I'll show y'all putting it up. Nope. It is so well engineered, it only fits one way. And then this goes on this end. Ta da! Isn't that cute? already got paint on it that's all right I'd rather have a black one but I didn't get a choice there you go anybody got any questions Hey, Fiona. I think I said hi. All right, guys. Any questions? Anybody got any questions on the Zen Zone? Number three. Second part of number three will be next week. If nobody has any questions... I appreciate y'all for coming and sticking. Jersey was here bright and early. This is the casing on this side, the tubes, and it's not moving at all. I've forgotten that's what these were. So that's the big difference between that and gouache. Hmm, cool. All right, brush is cleaned off. Where is the cutie? Okay, guys. Y'all want a sneak peek at, I don't know, week seven, eight, on up into July. I mean, of course, all the way up into September. I took one of the watercolors I had done week five i believe and put pastel on top of it lots of neat stuff coming your way well okie dokie i'm signing off i love you guys thanks for coming <laughs>